Hello everyone. So uh, time for a short uh, message from me for this week. Uh, this time actually we'll have some uh, support from uh, Jackie, our group uh, HR head, who will have a message for you. I hope you're all staying, you know, taking care, staying safe out there. Uh, it's quite challenging. Uh, we see, of course, uh, if you look globally, uh, slowly, slowly economies are opening up. Uh, Europe is, is partly opening up. Uh, uh, U.S. is maybe optimistically looking up uh, if you look at the situation there. And Africa is also slowly opening up. But of course, all these markets are opening, opening up with a fair amount of, of restrictions. And we probably have to remember that, uh, you know, the virus is very prevalent out there still in Africa, especially as, uh, you know, we got, the, we, we got the virus fairly late in here. We did good lockdown. So the spread has been... Uh, quite restricted and, and uh, you know, when we talk to advisors, consultancy firms and so forth, many of them believe that, you know, we will not hit the peak before July in this part of the world. So, of course, uh, then we really have to manage this, uh, you know, opening up with, with a lot of care. So, uh, you know, when we go back to work, we, we have to follow, continue to follow guidelines and instructions. For us still, you know, we, we are, you know, we're optimistic about the things going forward. Things will, of course, eventually revert to some type of, of normality again. Uh, and when we did our BCP, our business contingency plan, we did a fairly conservative uh, demand curve or expectations for this year. It looks like right now that we're slightly beating that. Uh, April, despite being very low, was a little bit better than what we had anticipated. And April now looks, you know, of course, you know, things are slowly getting a bit better, but still we are, you know, substantially, of course, as you all can understand, below what we had, you know, initially anticipated for 2020, where we actually had a very good, uh, once again, a very good start of the year, and I was very happy with that. But, you know, we have to adjust to this situation Well, we all have, uh, we all have for sure to do that. Uh. And maybe for us, the concern right now is not maybe so much, uh, you know, just the time you're closing down. I think it's more the outlook uh, going forward, you know, end of the year, how much are we going to pick up at that time? And also when you look at uh, 2021 and 2022, it will take some time before economies have recovered and things are back to normal. Of course, uh, you know, our customers will hold on to cash as well. Uh, what tends to happen in this situation is that, uh, you know, projects, uh, quite quickly or larger products quite quickly are, are closed down and we would re rely more on, on you know residential markets and fundis is like here in Kenya who would need some money and, and will be out to trying to put uh, roofs on, on houses as much as they as much as they ever can. So maybe the concern right now is, is more going forward than just uh, specifically a month like like April. Then we also have to remember that it's quite different you know within the group because um, we talk about one company, one Safal, and it's very much true. We will have very different stress in different parts of, of, of our regions, where we know that some markets were in, in a tremendous uh, stress already before this happened, which of course makes it uh, you know, even more difficult to, to manage. Uh, but as a group, you know, I believe we can pull this together. We can ride out the storm. We need to focus on what is really important. The most important thing is, of course, to keep the business afloat making sure that everyone has to work to get back to at the end of this uh, journey. And that's, of course, the absolute most important thing. Yeah. And of course, also, we try to continue, and I mentioned earlier, you know, to help communities as much as we can in different ways, you know, by putting money into funds, giving some emergency support, doing some help with infrastructure and, and so forth. And uh, of course, we, um, we will continue to focus on uh, preserving cash and manage our expenses because that is one of the most critical things uh, going forward. So um, by that, I will actually, I will hand over to Jackie, she has a few words to say to you. Uh, I, once again, you know, wish you all to stay safe, take good care of yourself and your families and your close ones, and you have a good weekend. All the best for me. Bye-bye. Hi everyone, how are you doing? Yes, how are you doing? 
I'd really like us to think about that question. How am I doing? In this time, we all say, I hope you're safe and well. I'd like to focus on the well. The COVID pandemic descended upon all of us with such suddenness that it was difficult for us to comprehend the magnitude of what it was going to bring to us. It's been close to two months since the reality came alive in many of the markets that we operate. And it looks like it's going to continue to hover above us for a long time to come. So step back and think about how am I really doing? As a group management team, we have made every effort to ensure that we are safeguarding our lives, those of our families and our livelihoods. The management team has made the best efforts possible to ensure that we continue to operate and to be here for a long time into the future. We are, however, going into a season where tougher measures will have to be put in place. So it is important that both as an organization and as individuals, we start to think about what could those measures be and what could I as an individual do to make sure that I and my family continue to be safe and well. Through the different arrangements we have, whether it is leave, work from home, return to work on gradual basis, we have maintained such strong camaraderie and demonstrated such good care for one another that it makes me proud to be part of this family. I urge you to continue to do that, to continue to check in on one another on a regular basis, to continue to demonstrate that we are not just together because we work together, but we are together because we are part of such a wonderful family, the Safal family. In the coming weeks, I'd like us to start focusing on our well-being on the things that truly, truly matter deep down. A couple of things that we will be sharing with you as an HR organization are things that will touch your personal lives. For starters, we'd love for you to focus on your mental health, spoken about within our families, within our communities, but it is something that's, you know, part of who we are. We've got a healthy body, we need to have a healthy mind for us to thrive as individuals. So May being Mental Health Awareness Month, we want to promote some conversations around mental health and general well-being. We'd love for people to be able to speak to one another, to speak to people they trust about how they're truly feeling, what fears or anxieties do they have. We'd also like then to extend beyond just mental health and start talking about how am I growing? What am I doing to be a better me? So you will see us share with you tips and tricks about how you can start, you can continue, not start, because a number of you are doing it already, how you can continue to learn and grow. We will also, all these we're doing as part of a larger care campaign, because we care for you. And as we care for you, we want to walk hand in hand with you through the future, though that future may be uncertain at this point. So I thank you for listening to me, and I hope and trust that you will engage with us, you will collaborate, and you will truly demonstrate that as a family, we'll get stronger together. Thank you.